today's top tip is the benefits of slow practice. I'm going to be demonstrating a new piece that I've never played before. This is by Sergio Assad. It's a combination of Chopin and Antonio Carlos Jobim. And I just got the music and we're going to be playing the piece in concert. So here's the benefit of slow practice. From the very start, I want to be sure that I'm not learning mistakes because then I have to unlearn them and learn the correct notes. So I'm going to go very slowly, even though the 16th notes probably will end up about that speed. So that's one measure, and now I'll play that one measure a little faster because it's no longer sight reading since I know it. But I never want to go faster than I can play everything just right. Now that I'm comfortable with that, I'll go on to the next measure, again very slowly, to be sure I can get everything right. And I'll practice that transition. And a little faster. I'll go back slowly again to make the connection from the previous measure, but only from the end of the previous measure. So I'm giving myself the chance to get it right every time. And then I can go back to the beginning of that previous measure. And then, as I get more comfortable with the notes and the transitions, then I can increase the speed, but gradually to be sure that I'm still secure with all of the notes. And I probably play it a few times at that speed before speeding up. times at that speed as well. So that's starting to get a little less clear, so I probably need to slow down from that point. And that was today's top tip for practicing proficiency. In future top tips, we'll talk about the basics of sight reading, also how to put together the smaller elements of much larger works so that you continue to be efficient in your practice.